trying Spanx. For £120, I'm expecting to virtually disappear, you know? <laughs> but we'll see. Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today, can we just get into how glossy my clavicles are looking? I'm very impressed by the fact that I'm not dry today. I have the driest skin and I said that this year I'm not gonna be crispy. If I'm crispy, let me know. I won't be doing that, but yes, clavicles glow. Isn't it a beautiful thing? I've been wanting to film this video for a while and I've kind of chosen not to, just because I know how, how kind of sensitive it is when it comes to talking about body shapes or body issues and all these kind of things. And I feel like sometimes people think that I don't have a leg to stand on because I've had Cosmetic treatments, listen honey, your girl has had cosmetic surgery and still has body hang up. So my first point in this video is that cosmetic surgery doesn't really change anything because if you've got body hang ups, it's probably more in your head. I will tell you that right now off the bat. And I feel like I'm someone, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm insecure. I put my hands up and I say, I'm insecure. And I say this because I feel like though I have my insecurities, I don't care, like it's not going to stop me. I'm gonna wear that dress because I want to wear it. I'm gonna go out because I want to. And pe the funny thing about insecurities is that they're more in your head. It's not that anybody else is like thinking about it. If they are thinking about it, let's hope that they keep their mouth shum. Um, But it's in your head and so I feel like I've, been someone who's able to like work despite them, like how I feel, but I'm gonna say, yeah, I've had insecurities. Enough that I've gone under the knife to have treatments and then still feel like, oh, I wouldn't mind if this was a little bit more and that was a little bit more and that was a bit more. And so we're like, hmm, sliding slope, we're gonna stop now. And so the area for me that is my most insecure area is my tummy area. And <laughs> despite a liposuction, the area still has has its points, you know. I'm a mum. The tone isn't really that Jim is gonna fix that. <sighs> but, you know, I wanted to try out magical shapewear. And I feel like people don't really talk about shapewear that much and even test it out to see if it works. So today, your girl is going to go into trying out the different shapewear that is out there, that is marketed to us as miracle products. But we wanna see if it's really real. Like, am I gonna go from tooth gang to shape gang? Am I gonna go from fridge TV screen body to hourglass? <laughs> so I'm gonna try these out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There might be a warning because there's gonna be a little bit of body on the show. <laughs> Probably demonetized, thanks YouTube. It's fine, we'll survive. <laughs> okay, let's just get into this video. Okay guys, so here is your girl in the flesh. Um, I just want this area to look a bit tighter. Why I like it to be a lot tighter? Because most of the time when I'm wearing outfits, I'm eating, okay? I don't need to look like I'm four months pregnant. I wanna still be cute. Any shapewear that allows me to eat and still be cute is a win for me. So here's what my tummy looks like. This is the front. This is my term from the side. She has a moment, she likes to hang just a little bit, you know, just a little bit. Not that bad. I know for some people this is their lunch baby, some people this is nothing, but she has her moments. When she's full, she's very much like, boom, here I am. Let's see if magical shapewear is gonna be able to get my tongue in. Shapewear number one. This is my first piece of shapewear. It's from a brand called Heist. I believe that this is my most expensive piece of shapewear and it makes the biggest claims. It states that it's able to take off five centimeters off my waist. I don't actually think my waist is that big. Five centimeters is a lot. Like it's like that much, like hi, no waist gang, but that sounds like a big claim. This shaper is 120 pounds, which is, which is hella pricey. Let's take a peek at this piece. Now, um, booby cups, very soft. My nipples will be singing through this. And here's the waist section, which is weird. It's got a really nice like, rubbery, rubbery texture, it's very interesting. But there's like a rubber bodysuit underneath the softer material. There's like a curve right here, and then it goes up to underneath there. For 120 pounds, I'm expecting to virtually disappear, you know? <laughs> but we'll see. And I'm gonna tell you that this dress is my nemesis dress. So this dress is a dress that I absolutely love. Feel very cute in it and everything. But look at this, I always get this like, belly button print right here. And when I eat it, like, I have had people say, oh, congratulations, I'm not even kidding. 
don't don't do that. Just don't don't do it. Don't do it to people. It's actually very annoying. Do you know what? Right now I'm having a small belly day. Belly! Why are you sabotaging me like this? This is what I look like from the side in this dress. You can see the um belly button print and just a little bit of like a, a shadow, you know, five o'clock shadow. So this is what I look like in this dress normally. This is gonna be our baseline for everything. Okay, heist, well, work your magic. Oh, she's tight. Oh, I don't think this is gonna go over the hips. It's not gonna go over the hips. We're gonna go over the top. Ooh, she's seamless. She's seamless, she's smooth, she's a second skin. Very, very much feeling how this feels on. I feel like I'm gonna have senses all of this because <laughs> There's a lot, there's a lot on the show. She's seamless and I feel like my waist definitely feels like it's going in. Five centimeters is strong, but let's see what I look like with the dress on. Oh, I look smoother, I look smoother. I've definitely gone in a little bit. I'm definitely going a bit more like that versus like that. There's a little bit of belly button print and there's a little bit of shadow. But I do feel like I've gone in a little bit. What do you guys think? Have I gone in a little bit? Have I got a little bit of a waist snatch? Hey, a waist snatch, hey. I don't know. I feel like my waist has gone in and I love how smooth I look. Not bad though, not mad. I, I feel like I'm gonna rate this a six out of 10. Pause, remember the price, the remember the price, 120 pounds. If it's 120 pounds, I'm expecting a lot more from this actually. Oh, and I'm getting a four bum, I'm getting a four bum. No, we don't need four bums. Do you see the difference it makes, right? Let's compare. So next, I went to Fig Leaves. Fig Leaves is actually a website that sells underwear. It seemed like it's for slightly older lovely ladies. And it definitely did have shape bear wear, but it was very grandma and style, I'm not gonna lie. But I felt like it was shape where I could trust and everything was in nude, but I'm not gonna call it nude, I'm gonna call it off pink because my nude isn't off pink and there wasn't many options. So, okay, so this is from a brand called Maiden Form and this is, this is actually really nice. This has got the booby section as well. I wish this was in black or like a nude, my nude. I love the fact that it's got the booby section. Your girls will be lifted, okay? They'll be lifted from the shadows. From the shadows. Lifted. Can't help it. Boobs will be lifted. I think this is really nice. This, I feel like this could work more than this. Um, your classic kind of double layered shapewear. Don't give me VPL. Let's see what she looks like on. This feels very nice on. I feel like it's gonna give me a weight. Look at the girls. Look at the girls. YouTube, do not censor me, please. I didn't do it, it was the underwear. Look at the girls, oh my gosh. Okay, waist snatching, but I feel like it's making me look bigger in the middle. It's almost like it's taking all the fat and skin from the side and going <laughs> like <laughs> right down the middle. It, it sides look great. The middle, you just need a panel or something right here. Like why is it going <laughs> I actually feel like I look thicker in the middle. How is that possible? How is it possible to look thicker? Let's put the dress on. Okay, I was definitely right. I was definitely right. My waist has gone in, but my stomach looks bigger. 100% looks bigger because it's literally pushed all the fat and it's so tight here. It's giving me an extra lumpiness right here. This is the definition of not very good shapewear. Like I feel, could, if anything, the waist isn't even going in that much. It's just because you've now put, made the fat on the sides protrude. I look very strange. Um, and this is a size medium. No, no, no. You can also see the seams, which I don't mind so much in this dress, but I think if you were wearing something a bit thinner or lighter, it's not gonna work. This is not magic.
and it's actually giving me an eight bum. Here is the second one I bought. I'm just gonna say like, this is the definition of <laughs> big grandma panties. I found that there were a lot of these kind of like florally ones and it's very grandma, very dated, but looks like it will work really, really well. Like, I feel like people think that young people aren't wearing items like this. Don't you know this is the secret? Trisha's collection coming very soon. Um, but yeah, I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm not impressed by this. I'm not feeling this at all um, from a looks perspective. But what you wanna see if this is going to have you looking snatched like cement, okay? We need to be, I love the way this one feels. It feels really nice. It's not doing much. It's really not as good as the first one, but it's better than the one I just wore. I feel like they're all lacking. Like you just need something right here, right there. Okay. This one definitely doesn't make me look worse, which is a start. I feel like my body looks a bit more normal like itself. It definitely is nice and smooth here. And actually I think it's done in done some sucking in work. I believe this is 32 or 35 pounds. It's done some sucking in work. It's not giving me the weird, awkward hip thingy. A little bit. I feel like my five o'clock belly shadow is a little less, it's more three o'clock, which is nice. It's not really working miracles though. It's not working miracles. From the side, I think it's done a good job, you know, guys. I feel like it's done a nice job. It's affordable. It's grandma. Can you imagine like coming to your man and be like, hey baby. <laughs> I think this might give him nightmares. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I, I think, I actually think it's nice. I think it's done a good job. I feel like I look a lot smoother. I like the way I look on the side. I'm gonna give this seven because I think the price is nice. I think the price is nice. Next up, I picked some shapewear on ASOS and they have one or two of their own brands of shapewear and they obviously have the Spanx. I've never owned real Spanx before. I'm interested to see how good they are. Spanx range anywhere from 30 pounds to 50 pounds to like some are 75, 80 pounds. The ones I picked up were 30 and 52. But I'm gonna try on this one. This is an ASOS own brand. In all honesty, they're quite crap. They're quite crap until I do this. I usually always fold it down to like double the impact of how they work. Just like this, it's crap. So here it is. Doesn't do much on the waist. Up here it does a good job and then it's like it pushes everything down, which isn't great, but it's super comfortable. And I'm gonna tell you, the leg short bits roll up so badly, so badly. You can't wear jeans, you can't wear a dress. This bit will literally go all the way up here and cut off your blood circulation. You do need the blood circulation to your crotch, okay, honeys, trust me. Um, so these are not a great pair, but th th they work. From the front, I do feel like I look quite smooth. Get into Spanx. My first time trying Spanx. Mad, right? These are the Spanx Power Short Conceal Mid Thigh Medium Control. These look hella flimsy. What am I? What am I meant? Oh my god, there's a little, there's a little P gap. Is that P gap? I love your thinking, Spanx. There's a little gap in the middle for if you need to use the bathroom. This is great. These are quite like um, tight material. I don't feel like these are gonna do very much. Let's see. Oof, they're tight. They're real tight, what? Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm stuck. Wow, they're like tight, but like the tightest tight I've ever encountered. These look like they'd never roll. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh my, my butt is, yeah. My bum is standing to attention. I feel smooth. 
wow oh, i like this this is definitely what you see the kardashians walking around in all the time literally Spanx. very nice the best okay this is the best one so far my stomach five o'clock shadow is literally not even a shadow or one o'clock can you guys see that i feel like it looks really smooth waist is going in i don't have the lumps on the side right there because these are shorts obviously um really nice fits really well i look really smooth and you can't see my belly button dip bum is looking lifted and i don't have a forebum but i think it's done an amazing job no no this is what i've been missing in my life who needs liposuction when you can have spanx really like these i think they're great okay so these are the spank high power shorts nice double i thought they had a weird smell completely different material to the ones i'm wearing completely different so these ones go on a lot smoother funny enough i feel like they're not going to do as much as the pair that i just wore but they're thicker in material no they've also done a lovely job sister has got a shadow there is a bit of a cute shadow right here but it's marginal it's not no they're not doing as much as the other pair they're not doing as much but i feel like i look contoured i look smooth definitely like the shorts vibe because it really just makes hair look nice and smooth and not all lumpy and i do feel like from the side i do look nice and you know you know I'm gonna rate that last pair of Spanx an 8 out of 10. I'm gonna rate these a 7 out of 10. The only thing is, I am getting a bit of a dental, a dent here, cause the short isn't high enough. Okay, and then I went on to my final location, which is our wonderful friend, Amazon, who always has got something on there you know, worth picking up. Things are nine pounds, nothing more than 12 99 I don't think. So here's a pair I picked up from Amazon and it's got like boning in it, which I thought would be great, but I bought these in the past and thought they were crap. So I'm gonna show you what they look like on, kind of looks like a big black nappy. <laughs> Not cute. Do you know what's weird? It's not actually that bad. It just doesn't do anything. It just kind of makes it smooth. These lines do nothing at all. You'd think it'd be like corset boning. No, nothing. Or am I wrong? Well, I feel like I've got a little smoothing. It's not It's not great power. I still feel like the belly's here. You can even still see the belly button hole here. And I look rounder. I don't like it. Don't like it. Not great. But look how my sides don't look smooth, you know? Not smooth. Not nice. Has she eaten a sandwich already? So this is what this looks like on. So this was my most stylish piece. This was the piece that I saw for shapewear. This looks really nice. It's got this kind of crisscross style. It looked cute that you would like take off your clothing and be like, hey baby. Like you still felt cute in this. This was really nice shapewear and I felt like the pattern for some reason would give me that waist snatch. Oh, it's, it's good. Oh, she's lovely. This is great where this paneling is going in right here but not bad at all can you see the detail don't look too close but i love that i think it's really nice let's pull down the dress oh you can kind of see the pattern and the design a little bit a little bit of pattern and design can kind of be seen if i was wearing something thinner you might be able to see it and because it's got that mesh panel at the belly button you're still seeing seeing belly button hole and i've got five o'clock shadow it's a shame because it's such a nice little design. It looks cute, but it, it isn't doing anything. It's literally all fur coats and no knickers. Okay, so my very last pair from Amazon. Oh, they're Spanx. Oh, they're a Spanx thong. These have got like the, a band. Oh, so these are thong Spank. 
but I have my own knickers on underneath. I'm not sure if these are gonna be a win for me, in all honesty. I'm just not comfortable with the idea of a thong spank for some odd reason. I just don't think like thongs are that fantastic. I just think of yeast infection, uh, not for me. And actually these aren't doing anything like what the other spanks are doing. So we're just gonna give it a no. I feel like Amazon Spank and Shapewear is a bit of a fail, but there's so many options and I only picked three. So you decide. And I'm about to give you my final thoughts. 